problem you probably terrified because you see this table you see um, a formula here for you to use you're looking at this huge word problem but I'm going to tell you that it is not as intimidating as you think it is as a matter of fact I wouldn't even read this word problem I would just go directly to the table because I understand that this is a probability um, problem which tells me right away that I know that my sum needs to equal up to one so the first thing I would do is look at my table I see here it says value of X so I see it has a negative 3 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 and a negative 3 so after I've done that the next thing I would do is go down here to my to my table here it says value of X the first thing I would do is write my negative 3 because I have a negative 3 here okay and then the next value of X that I have is a negative 1 so I'll put down my negative 1 my negative signs are already there okay so the next thing I would do is add up the number of threes that I have so I have 1 2 so I have two negative threes and I'll put that negative 2 here okay and then the next thing I would do is add up my negative one so I have one two three four five six negative ones so I'll put six there the next thing I would do is add up the total number of, of values of X that I have and so I know I have one two three four five six seven eight so I'll put an eight here because I have eight total in all and when I look at these two fractions here I automatically know that this is going to equal up to a sum of one and that's it that's how you will solve that problem